Hello everyone and welcome back to episode 3. I'm even surprised at myself. But we have uh, we have an hour to do some more building up of our wonderful little band of mercenaries. So what do we have here? We have Geralt level 3, Deirdre level 3, Patrick level 3 and Lilith level 3. So we're all level 3. And Lilith's looking mean, as usual. The cutthroat. So, she has Frenzy. And a Rusty Shiv. We're going to have to try and get that upgraded a little bit as soon as we can. Hunter's Bow level 1 with Patrick and he has oh yeah yeah he is the animal ally attack all allied animals next to the target attack them with an attack of opportunity that could be useful so we'll have to get ourselves some creatures Deirdre with her homemade armor Okay, defensive stance, yeah, yeah. And the captain, Geralt. With his big rusty club. Okay. Let's unpause. We're looking to... Mm, we're looking to uh, camp for the night. But... Ooh, I'm in a few deaths. I've only got one day's worth of food left. And I have only ten crowns. Mm, oh dear. Okay. Let's unpause. Let's nip into a strum cap. See if we can sell a few bits and pieces to get enough money to pay. Oh, botherations. Oh. I think we'll sell a few of the comfrey. They're very easy to come by. I'll do nicely, thank you very much. Um, oh, we could make some food. Yes, yes, yes. Um, do I get... What is it? Two star? Uh, okay, I'll sell the rags. Sell the leather... Fish oil? Mm. Yeah. Um, do you know what? Even if it's... Uh, I can sell to... We'll depart. We'll depart. We'll try and make a few crowns. Even if it's five. Come on. Oh, there's boars over there. Okay, I think we'll... Once we rest, we'll go for the boars. Oh, come on. Ah, oh, no, we're not going to make it. Not going to make it. Okay, we're going to need to camp. <coughs> Well, the first thing we can do, at least, is make two pieces of bread. Yay! Now, hmm. What can we make in here? Oh my goodness, we can make a tent. I think we will do that. Yeah, let's do it. <coughs> Tent is great. Stick it in there. And twist it around. So I use the middle mouse to twist around. There we go. It's simply left, left mouse button, 
click it down, drag it around anybody you want. Ooh, okay. I'm going to need some more companions, to be quite honest. Okay, we're going to go to sleep, but we are going to need... Oh, oh yes, what we'll do is we'll use some brandy. Bring it up to 13. We are going to lose happiness because we're not paying our troops. We don't have the money, so we will rest. You haven't paid your companions their wages. Do you want to rest anyway? Yes. And now we will see how badly we're knocked back with our happiness. Okay, we've gained two action points. Troop is well rested. Grand. Your troop's happiness has decreased by minus three. So plus two for the companions assigned to the campfire. Plus one for the brandy. They like their little drink at night. But minus six, your companions are not happy with the wage delays. So the troops' happiness is down to 12. Your companions are pleased. And we have uh, some more raw materials. Okay. That will do. We need to get our money up. That is important. Oh, and we have, an, we have a knowledge point to use. So... We have run, we have rationing, and we have frugality. Now, I think we will learn something else. Um, oh, we could go for saddlebags, which would give us some more. It adds plus 10. So I go from 61 capacity to 71. Mm. Oh. Or I can learn something here. I could go for the grilled pork. We'll go for the grilled pork. Oh, for each level two in the mysteries and wisdom path, you can craft a lectern. So if we go down to the paths, still in level one crime chaos, trade and wealth is level two, power and might is level two, and mysteries and wisdom. So we've, we've just reached level two in mysteries and wisdom. You can craft the lectern. Okay. There we go there. Right. Let us go and get some food. Oops, wrong one. Get in around behind. No, didn't. But we go for a fight. There are six boars, level two. Let's get our fight on. Oh, oh, okay. They're going first. Okay. Let's click on them. Let's see how far they can run. Hmm. Right, okay, so. For can he run? Okay. Um, swap them around. 22, okay. I think we will start with Geralt. And we have six Valor points, so. We should be all right. Yep. Let's go for the boar. Smack. And he's weakened. 
And now give him another wee little bit of a pounding. Okay. Oh, oh. Let's go Wrath. Yes! Which means... Hmm. Right, okay. So that's everything we can do with Geralt. End of his turn. Can he reach? Oh, he can! But will he? No, I tell you what. I think I will... Oh. No, Patrick can't really make it. Hmm. Mm. I'm going to move Patrick up here. Over here. No. Oh, I was silly there. I should have brought him up to there. Alright, we'll do that first. We'll shoot at the door. And can he move? He can't move anywhere. So nobody needs healed, and I don't have any on any animals with me. So we'll end that. I could have finished that off, but I was silly and not great setup. Oh, ow! That really wasn't very nice at all. Right, we'll run round here with Deirdre, and she will kick the bow in the knees. And then she will do a bit of slicing and dicing. Oh, and Wrath, will she finish? Yes! Oh, beautiful, beautiful. I'm happy with that. Bring her up around there. Begin to make a wall. Yeah, that boar will come around. Yep. Ow! Oh, no, 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 no. Go away, boar. Hmm. That was not what I really wanted. Okay. We have one left, and that is Lilith. Now, they are engaged. So, she will go there first. Throw that at that boar. And come around here. Use two. Yeah. Oh, capture. When an enemy has less than half of their health left, use chains or rope to capture them. Place one of your units next to an engaged enemy to try and capture them. Ooh. So I can either capture the boar or stab him to hopefully to death. Do you know what? We will try capturing first. So we will have one boar that Patrick can pull around with a, a nice little... Uh, Nice little lead. Okay. We'll finish there. So we have two boars down. Ow! That really hurt. No, 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 no. Ow! Patrick is in no fit state at this moment in time. Okay. He's engaged with Patrick. He is not. So, who's who's next? Oh, he is next. Okay. Right. <clears throat> We're coming around. She will engage the boar, but kill it. There we go. Okay. And she will get... Get us back a valor point. Now... I think we will do we leave Patrick to last. We will use Geralt. Whack the boar. Yay. 
then uses point. He is now engaged and he gets a valor point back. Isn't that great? Um, yeah, let's use it. We're going to use galvanize troops. You gain one valor point per ally in the area. Usable once per encounter. So you sort of need to figure out when you're going to use it. We only have Deirdre in here, but we're going to use it anyway. It's almost over. There's only two boars left. Yes! Okay. And that is him. We will now bring Deirdre around. Right round to the back. Hopefully get a wee bit of a bonus. Yeah, Fury. Oh, Deirdre has Fury. So... Boom. Oh, straight off. Lovely. We will come up here. And finish her turn. Uh, we're going to punch the boar now. Patrick is going to get a thump back. When we end his turn. But can't do anything about it. A new round has started. Going to use the last couple of turn valor points. Yes. Right down. No, we're going to get as much meat as possible. We have we have one boar. Yay! So we have some carcasses, pork, pristine fang, grease. And some leather. That is not so bad. Um, and we have a boar. Yay! And the boar can go up a level. Ooh. Strength or movement? I think a strong boar. Or a really fast boar. I think a fast boar. So he can run in front of things. So now we have five companions that we can use in our battles. We've gotten some fangs which are great because you can use those later on to barter with hunters. We now have pork which um, we, can, uh, we can now cook because we have salt. So we can cook two of them. And carcasses, you just eat. Okay. And continue. And we will just set up camp quickly. Oh, it's raining. Just what we need. Um, grilled pork. We will cook two of them. Yay! Now we're up to two days worth of food. Excellent. Um, actually, we would need to treat him. Yeah. Yep. There we go. Full strength. Oh, we can give the boar a name. Bertie. Bertie the boar. We'll see how long he lives. <laughs> The boar has been renamed Bertie, and the other companions approve. Okay. Now, what, what we eventually want to do is to get enough money here. Oh, yes. Let's swing around. <clears throat> okay, here's some traders coming up. I'm reckoning about maybe, what, 45? 45? 47! That'll do nicely. Leave? Oh, Iron ore. No, we'll leave that for the time being. We can mine... <coughs> mine some iron ore. Right, we we'll need to get back to... Stromcap.
so we have some food and we have some leather. And let's see. Go to the market. Wonder is there any see with the carcasses. It only gives you one food, but you can't sell it for anything at all. It's worthless. Grease will be useful with wood. Oh, that's maybe something we can make as well, because we haven't made that yet. We can make a torch. That will be very useful for Lilith. To use it offhand. Okay. Actually, oh, hmm. Okay, we'll pop that there. Right, um. Okay, we'll, we'll buy some more. Oh, oh. There we go. Let's leave. Port. Let's go and make a few extra coins trading. Oh. No, we're overweight. No. Do you know what? We'll get rid of those carcasses. Too much weight. Let's see. Can we get away up here? Let's follow on. Oh, dark stormy night. Oh. I think we will press our shift key and run. Oh, no, no, no. We'll run to these ones. Let's see. Will we get 47, 48? Um, oh. They are nice. Oh well. Uh, 48. There we go. So we're up a few. Happy days. Okay. So the aim is to, for this episode, is to try and get enough money to buy another companion. Oh, and I'm going to have to camp. <laughs> Gosh, do these guys never stop eating. Um. Oh, yes. Let's head in here. And we can make torches. So let's make two torches. And because it was first time craft, we get a few knowledge experience points. And Lilith can carry a torch in her off hand. That looks cool. Oh, we can see in the dark now. Okay. <clears throat> um. Campfire gives you happiness. Tent, the tent will give us an extra one uh, valor for each one assigned to the tent. Um, I think we'll just leave it for the moment. We need to keep the old happiness up. So let's do that. And the last of the brandy. <clears throat> keep the, the happiness going as much as possible. Yep, rest anyway. Okay. Oh dear. Right, we need to pay for our boys. Okay. Let's get that out of the road and that out of the road. Get into Strom Cap. Buy some more materials and sell them. So we'll at least have a few coins left when we pay the lads. Oh my goodness. 
back into the merchants. And there we go. Try and maximize what we can. Swing around and fire out. Come on, let's go. Another stormy day. All right, come on, lads. Keep it going. Keep it going. Oh, there's wood down. Oh, there's where the ghosties are. I'm staying away from them for the moment. I would like to get some better weapons. Before I go in there. Oh, come on. Nobody about? Okay. We're just going to have to see these lads here. All right. Let's sell our stuff. Oh, great sword. Oh, and a tunic. Mm, lovely. Light armor. Okay. Let's get on with it. 48. That'll do all right. 73. Up 13. Okay. Okay. So you can start to see that it's not the greatest way of doing it. But early on, I think it's sort of decent when in an emergency um, to try and um, get a few coins going. Oh no, I'm right on the edge. Oh no! Not the third day already. Oh my goodness. What am I going to do? I'm going to need to... Right, first of all, buy food. Because I'm nearly out as well. <clears throat> okay. Buy some salt. Buy some mutton. Ah, dear, 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 dear. Mm, could sell the torch. Right. Sell snow irises and comfrey. I really don't want to get rid of that spear, but, you know... I'm just going to have to. Ho hum. There's the wood. Um, do I sell some wood? Okay, I'm going to sell some wood. Give myself a little bit of... So we have enough money to cover ourselves and we have one day's worth of food. Oh my goodness. Okay, right. Oh. Exit. Is there anybody close? could sell stuff to. Okay. I'm gonna have one, I'm gonna take one chance here. Sixty-three. Oh, da, da, da. There we go. 
if I want to leave. I am seriously chancing it here. Depart. <clears throat> and I may have chanced it a bit too much. No, 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 I have, I have, I have. Oh, we're getting too tired. Okay, let's camp. Yada, yada, yada. Oh, yes. Don't forget, do a bit of cooking first. Grilled pork. Yep. Thank you. Excellent. <sighs> Actually, keep those. Yeah. Uh, kind of the same anyway, but there you go. Yes. Oh, they're really not going to like this. They're going to be start to get unhappy. Oh, and I've lost five. Okay. Well, that will completely... That will teach me. Don't be too chancy with everything. Right, come on, come on. Right, once we sell these, then we're on our way. So we've, we've fought some animals. That's even, even f 45? Oh, 48. Excellent. Okay. Whew. Right. And leave. Okay. What I am going to do is... Pay the lads. So the lads are paid at least now. Okay, they're not entirely happy, but let's go. Let's go to the guard post, outpost. Let's do this now. Oh. Captain Rovand. To think that we have to camp out here because of some pig-headed bandit. That Bertram will stop at nothing to terrorise the yokels. But when it comes to facing the guard, that's a whole other matter. You see that cave to the north? He's holed up in there. It's been three days and still he won't surrender. Bertram knows he's done for, yet he continues defending his lair with such doggedness that we have no choice but to starve him to death. That's why I need mercenaries. He doesn't know you. He might even let you in if he thinks he can convince you to help him. And once you've gained his trust, you can finish him off for us. We'll make it worth your while, I promise. <sighs> Reward is 100 crowns plus 25 reputation and plus 20 on the... Tiltron scenario. Yes, we will accept that. Of course we will. Icing. I will never help the refugees after what happened. They're all just like Bertram. Lawless scoundrels. The lot of them. Oh. Randinon. Nothing is beneath him. Bertram stole two cows and a calf from my brother-in-law. In one night, his family lost everything. Okay. Bertram is a bit of a scoundrel. Let's go and sort him out. Oh, Bertram. Ah, mercenaries. Did Fergus send you to help us? Rovand hired you to kill me. I beg of you, don't do this. We do not enjoy bullying the farmers, you know. We have no choice if we want to survive. Rovand is the one who must die. 
I will match his offer. In fact, I can pay you more. And if you and you would be doing a good deed. Once he's gone, the farmers of Tiltron will have no one to protect them. We won't have to force them to share their resources with them. Kill the captain. It's the only solution. So, I kill Bertram the bandit for the Captain Rovind. I get exactly the same to go back down and kill Captain Rovind or I leave. Well, <clears throat> I'm going to go... We're sticking with Tiltron, so we're going to have a fight. Let's get into position and teach Bertram a lesson. Okay, leader's aggression. Hoodlum, Bertram, Marauder. Deirdre. Oh, Piggy Wiggy. Okay. I think, oh, how far can, oh, okay, there we go, that's a bit better, right, Deirdre is going to go first, we're going to attack Bertram, because we want to get, um, I don't think we will, but if you kill the leader who is giving everybody this unit always deals critical hits leader strength dexterity and constitution in increased by 30 percent so he's always going to be a bit better than the others but you'll notice that all of them have leaders aggression but if you take the leader out then they lose the bonus that they get from their leader. So we're going to try this. Oh, deal 17 damage. Oh, okay, so he does area damage. Oh, so long as this unit is not engaged in combat. Right, so I am about to engage him in combat, so that should mean the others lose the leader's aggression. Okay. Let's kick him in the shins. And then slice them. Yes, and you'll notice that they no longer have leader's aggression. Okay. Return. Now. Oh, oh! Ow, 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 ow! The hoodlum. Ow, ow, ow. Go on, Porky. Go on, Bertie. Right, okay. Lilith? How far she can, can she run now? Okay, Geralt. Oh, Geralt can't make anybody. Oh, no he can. Right, let's go up here. Let's give him a bash. Oh, Geralt's feats have earned him the nickname Captain Geralt the Breckart. He earns an aptitude point. Yay! Valor points spent in one battle. Yes! Nice one. Okay. And then... Smack. Now... Do you know what? I'm going to do it. Do we get two? Yes, we get two. Bertie adds to it as well. That is excellent. I am happy with that. Happy with that. Okay. <clears throat> Bertram is going to... Oh! Oh! Excellent! Bit of friendly fire. Thing about friendly fires, it isn't. Oh. Oh yes. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Allied animal. All allied na targets. Oh right. Yes. So I have to target. Right. Okay. Him. Oh, he whistles at him. Oh, that's so cool. We'll push him back a bit. 
and oh that will do I'm not using I'm not being very tactical am I okay we'll bring Lilith up there so now it's the Marauder's turn oh ah, ow that really hurt I am not happy with that at all. Oh no. Okay. Oh! I know what we will do. We will earn some extra money. And we will put them in chains. Ah, oh, we're going to get poisoned, aren't we? Oh well. But we get to give him a smack. Okay. Ow. So he is poisoned. <clears throat> um, okay. Right, we're going to torch strike him. No, we won't. Now we will only do one attack on him. Because he's to the front, but we will engage him. So he leaves Patrick alone. Bur oh no, hold on. No, he won't because he's going to do a swing around. Oh, we are in serious diffs. Oh no, Bert is dead already. Dying unit, dying unit can only move. If you heal them before they take damage, they will be able to fight again. If not, they will permanently be lost. Oh, Patrick's dying. Seriously? Okay. Right, we need to get Bertram right down here. He is not doing us very well at the minute. Um... Patrick. Patrick will move out of the road. And that will be that. New round. Um Okay. Seventy eight damage. Right. Fifteen. Uh, do I kill him? Do I make sure? Hmm. I think I need to... Oh! So he's not dead. Ow. Ow! I'm not in good shape here. Are you serious? Oh, crying out loud. No, that's a silly idea. Oh, no, we're in the poison. Oh, no, no. Things not to do. Okay. Mm. No! Oh, no. Oh, for crying out loud. Yes. This is not going well whatsoever. Take that, you scumbag. Oh, hateful. 
Oh no, hold on. Mm, this is gonna be so close. Oh no! She is now dying. Oh! Now we have one left. Oh, for crying out loud, I have completely messed this up, have I? Oh. Right, at least we have this. Boom. Oh no, Deirdre and Bertie are dead. My fighter, no. Well, we get our stuff. Oh man. But Geralt has gone up. Uh, I think we're going to go for strength. So he is now properly level 3, yeah. Um... Oh, no. 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 <sighs> oh, Gambeson. No. No. Mm. Well, <clears throat> that's what you get. I messed that up, so you can definitely see things not to do. So Bertram is dead. My men and the good citizens of Tiltron will be glad to hear of it. I must commend you for your courage and your devotion to our cause. Here is the reward the Lady Mary has promised me. You deserve it. Goodbye. Oh. Okay, and you'll see here, we have 20. So you need to do five of the scenarios to complete the Tilturn full scenario. Let's inspect Bertram, and we get a golden key. Is there anything else? Now there is the locked. Uh, there's the locked chest here, that you'll see. Okay. Anything else? No, just exit. Now, you may have noticed when we were in the camp, the guard outpost over here. Now, I think I'm going to use it in this. I've used it previously, <clears throat> always used it on the one in the cave. So I want to find out what is in here. Oh, hunting trophy. Okay. More gold. Labourer's headband. Manual workers tie this around their forehead to keep sweat from it. Troop bonus. Profession experience gained. Oh! Okay. Yep. We will take that. So, let us see what we have. Oh, it's a backpack. Accessory. Okay. So he can cook, he can tinker, and Lilith can steal. So right click on this, and we have it equipped. Right, so hunting trophy can be sold. Sword can be sold. And that can be sold. Okay, let's go and get some quickly. Oh, 
The refugee leader has caught wind of your actions. He wishes to meet you in the haven. Mm. Okay. First of all, let's sell that. And that. And the trophy. Okay, now we're up some money. Ah, oh, do I sell that as well? Hmm. Yeah. Oh, I have reached level three in the trade and wealth path. Bonus, a new mission. Okay. Let's leave. Let's get out of here. Oh. Something back at Strom Cap. Let's go, let's go, let's go. So, we've spent a little bit of time buying and selling and really having squeaky bum time in trying to keep everybody fed and watered. And... Compendium. <sighs> yep. <sighs> World map meet with a mysterious client okay we have to go and meet the mysterious client let's go and meet the mysterious client Alderberth my name is Alderberth I'm the eldest son of a family seeking to join the broker council but for a merchant to obtain the coveted broker title they must prove their supply lines are efficient and their business partners reliable Unfortunately, I am lacking the latter. I believe mercenaries such as you, who know the value of both shiny crowns and sharp swords, can be of help. I need you to, to convince Tiltron and Marheim shopkeepers to become my loyal resellers. You will speak with them, possibly negotiate or even bribe them, so that they will agree to sell the wares I will provide. Ooh. If I do it, then we get the reinforced layer of the fox. Excellent. Meet me here once you've finished. Okay, so we have a new mission. Uh, now, I need a new person. Adventure called. What are you? Oh, a swordsman. Mm. Two-handed sword. Are you archer? Nope. Already have an archer for the time being, anyway. Oh, and I sold the spear. Oh, oh. However, spears, spearman's quite good. So, I will recruit you. Oh, excellent, forty. Okay, yeah, we'll do that. Okay, and right, so every time you buy and you recruit, the price starts going up. As you see, it's now thirty sixty. It had been twenty forty. Hmm. Um, yeah. Let's recruit him. Yep. Thanius has joined your troop. Your companions doubt he is up to the task. Oh dear. So, he has thick skinned, so 3% base guard. And he has tormentor. Oh, increased... 5% when he has two-handed weapon. Okay, no, that's good. That's good. That's good. Okay. And we get some free upgrades for him. Um, I think constitution rather than movement. Uh, 
and let's choose Valorous Support. Because he's a Spearman, he will be in the support role because he can attack without having to be right next to them. So, yep. Um, oh. Angler? Angler. Now, Geralt, Cooks, Patrick, Tinkers, Cutthroat. So we will need you. To be blacksmith. Oh, and I, yeah, angler, yeah. So many choices. Okay, oh, and he can already specialize. And oh, deals nine damage to all units in the area. Protection. We'll go for a destabilizing strike. I like that. So his constitution is already up. Um,. We'll make him really good, big, beefy fighter. And you can have that armor. Happy days. And we can sell that. So we will go here and we will sell the old farmer's rags. Ooh! A cheaper brandy. Let's have that just in case. And... Cook Apprentice needed. We'll buy that. So we have his day's worth. Leave. Leave. Go to the market. Uh, no, leave that there for the time being. Nope. Mm, 130. Ah. Leave. Okay, nothing for sale here. Um, let's exit. Well, at least we can rest now. Oh, I uh, need to get rid of Katarina. Okay. She's an extra mouth. Oh, they're useless because we can't use them to do anything. Oh, for crying out loud. Okay, let's let's feed them first. We'll use that. Need to make them a little bit happier. Yay! So we have gained three action points because we've assigned Baranigan. I wonder. Yes, we can change his name. Bran. I'll do. Yay! Oh. <gasps> Bor oh, Bori. <sighs> Bormir. Lovely. Okay. I think that will do that bit. Oh, there are so many things to keep managing. Right, okay. Um, right, they are injured. So we need to get them fixed up. But first things first is get, get this uh, prisoner scum. Squirreled away into the prison.
so we have the manacles. So they're starting to pay off. The Lady Mayoress has offered a reward for any outlaw captured in the region. You should give bounty hunting a try. I have. Give over the hoodlum. Bang. Thank you very much. Oh, no. We need to... This is annoying. Oh. We resource up here. Okay. Do you know what? Let's go for it. I see some. Oh, no, 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 no. We're getting ahead of ourselves. Right, back to town. We're going to have to pay to get ourselves healed. Do you know what? Mm. What we're going to do is change him to alchemist. Okay, he can be our alchemist. So if we go to the apothecary, we can go and because we have an alchemist, we can start crafting. And because we have the snow iris and the comfrey, we can prepare. So we can prepare up to four. Which we shall do. Yay! And he gets some experience in that. And we will exit. And we will go to Master Hulan, who will repair for 28. That's not bad. Um... We don't need coal at the minute. So we will leave. And exit. So we will heal, treat injury. Treat injury. And treat injury. Oh. Oh my goodness. Right now. Okay, we are going to need food. Definitely need food. And mutton is for sale. Cheap mutton. Taking it all. And we will buy some salt to bring with us as well. So let's leave there. Now, we can lose some money and then gain it back. So let's do that. Let's talk to Reynard. For a few crowns, I can polish your armour, please. I'm so hungry. Give him pen. There we go. Here we go. A little spit and polish here and there. Done. So shiny, I could go blind just looking at it. Thank you for all the money. It will be well spent. <gasps> he has stolen 20 crowns and took off. Come back, you braggart. There he is there. Oh, we're going to get you, boy. You are going to pay. I, I can polish your armor for you. How did you find me? Well, it wasn't very difficult. You were right outside. I'm going to threaten you. So I've gained 20 crowns. Hold on a minute. I gave you 10 and then you stole 20. So we're not quite even yet. Please don't hurt me. Tough. Now he's level 1. This is a really easy fight. So, you know, it's not even funny. Bop. Right in the face. Yay. So overall, we have made 10 gold. 
<laughs> okay. Right, we're going to finish up. We will finish up with seeing if we can fight the... thieves that are knocking about here no no there's always these guys let's threaten some refugees get them off the road already well at least I have the money now Ooh. nope okay five level two civilians Let's sort them out. Okay, who's going first? So let's not mess this up. Okay. She's going to go first and then he's going to go. So how far can he move? Oh, yeah, yeah. Alright. Um, they're going to go. So what I am going to do is one two three ah four right Boromir first of all We're going to do that, and we can't move any further. That did not work out very well, did it? Oh, that might be okay. Yep. Poke ya! And because, uh, I, as, as you would have seen there, I didn't need to move up in base to base contact. And he actually does more damage when he's ranged. Damage is doubled if used from a distance. So that's always good. And we will finish him there. And we will get a point through Valorous support. Ouch. Ooh. Ow. Okay. Um, we go for. Oh, Susan. Yep, let's go for it. Bop. So I, I get it back, the one I used because I am engaged and have Valor's jewel. Give, give her a clubbing. Oh, and then. Finish her off. I'll do nicely. Thank you very much. And I can move. Okay, we'll move to there. Okay, so we have one left. Ooh. There. Yep. Oh, didn't see the trap. Oh, I got both of them. He dead. And then we'll move back. So we're not next to the civilian at the end of the turn. Because target loses 20% of their max health and spreads the effect to nearby units at the end of their turn. Okay, it's the end of hers. But we're not going to take a chance. Okay, move him up. Is there? No. Okay. That didn't really work out well. I'm really not thinking tonight whatsoever. Long day. Long day. Okay. First of all, up here. Okay, so I shot 
And then, because I was standing next to Geralt, I got Valor Point. Okay. We will use... Boromir, come up. Um, Excellent. And then cleave. As you'll see here, I have sort of a wide arc. Anybody in that is going to get hit. So at the moment, it is just a civilian. And now... Oh... I think I will move Bran to here. So he is beside Boromir and we will get a Valor point and he is far away so he gets the extra damage. Ow! Starter on fire. And then stab her in the head. Excellent. And we will move over there. Because he's on fire. And we'll do that. Okay. Last one this turn. I think I have enough. Do I have enough? Yes, I do. So we'll maybe finish this civilian off. Boom! Oh, lovely. Lovely. Come closer. So we'll finish Geralt off there. And oh, no, he's getting poked. Ow, 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 ow. And because he was engaged, he gets the Valorous Duel Point. Okay. <sighs> okay, we'll, we'll do Patrick first. We'll bring Patrick up right behind him. And because he's right adjacent to Geralt, he can shoot through him. Ooh! And when we do end of his turn... We get a Valor point. So, Geralt now. No, 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 no. That's grand. And we'll use that to get another Valor point. And we will do this to get another Valor point. So, he was engaged. But because she was knocked back, he has to re-engage. And we will use the final point. Come on. Bunk. Oh no. So we will use Wrath to finish her off. Boom. Take that. And we are galvanized. Oh yeah. Okay. Now. First of all we will bring up Bormir. Give him a kick in the knee. And then we will cleave. Oh, will that finish him off? Yes, it will. There we go. Nicely done. Yay! Loot all. Oh, and we have fish hooks. And we can repair all. And that will do. Oh, there they are. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it here. I'm going to camp. Oh. Oh, I don't have anybody to mine. So we'll come out of there for the time being. Uh, we will camp here. Which will allow us to... Can we tinker with anything? Is there anything we can tinker? No, no, nothing. Um, we will 
do that. Bit of brandy. Ooh. I really hate wasting it. Ooh. Uh, that will only bring it up one. I really need that plus one happiness. We will pay, which will make them happy as well. And we will rest. Which will what? Give us what? You have gained three action points. Happy days. Troop is well rested. Your troop's happiness inc is increased by plus three. Two companions aside to the campfire. Plus one other positive effect, which was the brandy. Troop's happiness is now five. They are pleased. And we have a new raw material. Can we cook anything? No, we cannot. Um, and that is everything for the time being now. Oh, so we have at the end of this, I think I'll just look here. We have expanded our group after losing um, Deirdre, not pleased about that, and Bertie the Boer. So we were at a disadvantage, we were down to three, um, but we've bought back up. We now have one extra member of the company. Um, everybody is fed, we have one spare day we are at full stamina and we have enough as well money for at least one day. Whew. That was scary. But kind of actually kind of nice at the end of this that we were able to get to the to the goal actually that I really wanted which was one extra person. So we are up to a group of five. And I will leave it there. Thank you very much for stopping by. And um, I will maybe see you in episode 4. Please do like, comment, subscribe, share. Whatever's handiest for you. Um, and I'll see you next time.